ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಶಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುಭವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕನ್ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಜ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ನೀಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂಥ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರುಜೀತಕಮಿ ಗವಧುಶ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಫಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿಥಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತವದಾದರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿಥಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತವದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನಕ ಬದಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಠಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀದ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹ 
हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हे देव हे दैत तो हे भुवन कबंध हे कृष्ण हे चपल हे करुणक सिंधु हे नाथ हे रमन हे नयना विराम हा हा कदानुभविता पदम दिश दिशोर में हे देव हे दैत तो हे भुवन कबंधु हे कृष्ण हे चपल हे करुणक सिंधु हे नाथ हे रमन हे नयना विराम हा हा कदानु भविता पदम दिशोर में गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट सेवन मुख दैट दो आर सेवन उन्मुख दो आर अवर्स फ्रॉम सेवा अवर सेंस अवर सेंस ऑर्गन्स दैट एवरीथिंग it is we can just have that manifestation inside our heart drishti gochar bolne se drishti gochar means just manifest it you don't think like that that by this eyes we can just see that bhagwan if will if will if bhagwan will do kripa on us then that situation will be created in our life then if we will do kripa on us that bhagwan if is it is not our uh, may get manifested as a darshan it this is the kipa that i am doing his darshan gauri goshti pati shishila bhakti siddhan saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupad paramesh jagadguru told that so seven mukh by our sense organs with with full serving attitude uh, we can just serve bhagwan by that and uh, seven mukh means without any serving attitude towards bhagwan shravan is not at all possible for bhagwan this hari krishna naam that is pretty dominating thing just be careful about this point that is hari krishna naam this is actually pretty dominating and karma and our ears that is the pretty dominated means hari krishna name is is the controller of this infinity brahman it is a root cause and and is the actual prabhu and and it is to be regulated Hare by Krishna this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna naam and that is the actual predominating thing for us where the karm is according to rules and regulation okay it is an op- optional thing for us we will hear and we will do this so it is not at all possible to get bhagavad kripa with challenging mood where there is actually challenging mood there there we cannot get there a prakriti vastu is going away from there guru vishnu bhagwan bhagwan dham is not at all possible there it when can stay where there is logic bhagwan cannot stay there because by logical interpretation we cannot uh, find about the darshan of bhagwan and devotees are also actually hiding their own swarup and they will be giving their false swarup in front of other they will not be giving their actual uh, swarup in front of others and if our karmendriya where actually prabhu prabhu is all the time busy there in order where they are actually uh, no there is no shravan of naam and kirtan where actually actually the bonded jiva and my sense organs wants to become my master that i will hear i will give lecture like this at that time when my all my ears and all all my sense organs wants to become my master and i want to become their servant then naam shravan kirtan is not at all possible it is impossible to get that naam shravan kirtan ayo bhagwan shri hari hari kirtan I we actually want to enjoy Hari Kirtan. Our sense organs. I have just seen a lot of people have just come in the mud from a very long time, but still, their uh, their 
their maturity is not coming in their heart so much age here they have done they are actually just uh, taking the market kirtan and they are also uh, reading that and also they are uh, singing that also actually i was thinking that what it is actually they are actually going to the market very nice way they all will dance on that kirtan so this kind of some kirtan they are just doing market kirtan and external jeeva are also they are also mad they actually also want that enjoyment only they don't know they don't want actually bhakti those bond jeevas external jeevas nobody nobody wants actually bhakti in this modern world nobody can do anything nobody can just speak that they need bhagwan just by touching uh, nursing or deve and just by touching shalgram they cannot speak that we need we need bhagwan they actually don't want bhagwan they need from bhagwan they need from bhagwan they don't want bhagwan so that is the thing now and shila bhakti ballav this was when i used to speak with very loud voice with his chest out he used to speak and nobody needs bhagwan nobody needs bhagwan everyone wants other thing of maya everything zero 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 like this maharaj used to speak nothing you will get only zero you will get they are actually my karma indriya and all my sense organs are all busy in uh, hearing the market katha and market kirtan and uh, and even the brajvasi kirtan also they are just uh, uh, reading and uh, reading and singing and brajvasi actually are not at all uh, singing very well so they are actually just uh, earning money by that so this is the actual situation in all the directions actually they are just taking outside some malai and they are just singing oh so nice pravachan of baba you see just by taking malai <laughs> so this is the situation now you see we are my ear my my tongue my ears they actually all lots and my sense organs want to become master and uh, their naam shravan kirtan is not at all possible to do naam sankirtan it is not at all possible there hari kirtan jo karno those hari kirtan the actual vishay that a prakrit vishay in order to do that don't need to measure that at all that how it is beautiful and that this kind of vichar when it is coming of measuring naam sankirtan that is actually to enjoy that sankirtan materially so just by your tongue by your ears by your eyes sometimes you are just enjoying and we haven't even heard that actual naam sankirtan what to speak more where to go so those were sevanamukh uh, tongue and ears only it is possible that naam sankirtan gun dila everything we can just serve him by that serving attitude towards that by that enjoying uh, materially enjoying that uh, that sankirtan and just external drama we are just uh, putting up in front of everyone that we are just showing that we are just uh, doing shravan that is actually aparadh and seva aparadh this is not at all seva this is actually aparadh what to do what there is actually no reason for that so rubo swami pad has just told that this actually rup go swami pad has told rup go swami pad has told this point what to speak more that by our material sense organs in order to just understand bhagwan it is not at all possible this is just like a madness or on nothing just we have already have just uh, uh, can remember about this point that i have just uh, spoken about that point that for the gauri devotees what is the actual topmost target for them that what gorang mahaprabhu has shown us what is that that maharaj 
पारी किया भाव विद पारी किया भाव विद दैट मंजरी भाव सखी भाव दैट इज द फाइनल गोल बट जस्ट टू स्पीक लाइक दैट आई एम एक्चुअली बाउंड टू स्पीक लाइक दिस I am actually not able to speak like this, but still I have to speak. Definitely, this is our target. This is our actual target to get that. This is the final actually. Just like with that uh, thing, we are thinking to do Hari Nam Kirtan and Nam Sam Kirtan. That is the final outcome of our. It is not my uh, instruction. It's our Mahaprabhu has instructed this. Everything you can get by Hari Nam. I am actually not speaking. Mahaprabhu himself has spoken this point and has instructed us in this because he is Swam Bhagwan. and he is naam prabhu is coming in the form of gorang mahaprabhu in front of us naam jalpine namastu naam hai hai yes sir it's like this lekin iska matlab ye but it doesn't mean that that each and every person who is doing bhajan definitely they will all be coming in that same stage of prema this is not at all possible the whatever the swarup of that particular person is hidden bhakti no thakur has spoken that each and every jeevatma has that see hidden swarup inside his atma and this swarup when actually at that time when the time will good time will come at that time then that matching mahapurush with that mahajan he will just get uh, association at that time by that seva bhav he will just get find that hidden swarup inside his heart that is the actual uh, procedure of raganuga bhajan this is the actual gupta hidden siddhant vichar of raganuga bhajan by this only we have to follow because in every jiva there is actually hidden swarup inside each and every jiva every jiva has the same swarup it is not like that parna puja was series of shridhar goswami also has just this kind of vichar if every every swarup of jiva is all the same then uh, there is no point of uh, but like the case of anupam you can see when is actually short smaller brother of rup goswami pad they just told sanatan and rup goswami pad just told anupam that actually brother if you will also do krishna bhajan then in krishna bhajan there is very top most taste and rasa and all the three brothers will definitely all together do krishna bhajan but anupam can't stay like that anupam actually has just all the efforts to do that but he couldn't do that in the morning time when he just came in front of rup goswami sanatan goswami but that all the night i was just thinking of this point but i couldn't do that why because i have just given myself onto the lotus feet of shri ramchandra lotus feet and i have given my lo- uh, head onto the lotus feet of ramchandra ji maharaj and murari gupta ji also in the same manner you can see his case that mahaprabhu has just told has just making one uh, just gave take gave, taking some testing of uh, uh, murari gupta but a uh, whole night he actually thinking murari gupta that what to do uh, but he couldn't do that why because mahaprabhu swayam actually is just speaking this point on his own that murari actually i was just testing you actually why actually you will uh, do you will be just taking your head from the lotus feet of ramchandra you are actually on your whatever nishta and you are actually what nishta on the lotus feet of ramchandra my god i am very much happy with that so whatever swarup is there inside the heart of that atma hidden in inner form that he will serve like that but that thing is uh, 100% possible that shri chaitanya mahaprabhu in the sampradaya of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu this is the actual procedure of bhajan under the guidance of chaitanya mahaprabhu that is also the final target maybe he has got some rush before that by getting that siddhi somebody is getting siddhi in sakya rush and guru varga is also has a heart from krishnadas baba ji maharaj i have heard that he is in established in sakya rush i have heard that 
I don't have that. Uh, there are some other guru were also that who are actually established in Sakkara. So it is not the point. So actually, each and every Gaudiya, those Saraswat, those who are doing Saraswat Gaudiya Bhajan under the guidance of Prabhupada and uh, Bhakti Nath Thakur, and goes under the guidance of Shri Goswami, under the guidance of Gorang Mahaprabhu. For them, it is uh, written there. That is the final target for them. That is the unique and absolute target for all of them. That can be attended by them. So this actually it depends upon the person to person. It is it is also written in the shastra as well. When uh, that greediness is just getting inside the heart. That kind of greediness, according to that, I will be doing Krishna seva. According to that, I will be serving Krishna like that. So, like this, it is uh, written there. Now, that by Brajavasis, any Brajavasi, if any Brajavasi, out of any Brajavasi, one Brajavasi, you are actually having that serving attitude. You are just seeing the bhav of that serving attitude of a particular Bajwasi. That, that kind of greediness is just getting inside our heart to serve. That according to that only we just need to serve. We will be getting that uh, seva, seva mood inside our heart. This is actually Krishna Das Kaviraj. I have already told previous a bit of time before. There are two kind of sadhans in Raganuga Bhajan. One is Bahina Bahina Shari and inside body. In subtle form and fine form. Okay, but we, if we can see the vichar of Mahaprabhu, that Mahaprabhu has just instructed us that ultimately that Gopi Prem is the topmost. We just need to attain. That's why, because Mahaprabhu ji, what vichar Mahaprabhu has told. Especially this Gopir Bhartur, that Gopikas, Gop, Gopayate means to get it secret, Gopan, for that, that particular serving attitudes in the, it is there in the maintaining of the serving attitude of Krishna. Uh, nobody, actually external person is knowing that, only Krishna is knowing that. That is where Gopayate. That is, he is actually Nath of Gopikas. That kind of tremendous Siva Vritti. That uh, in order to just maintain Sri Krishna, that, uh, uh, that serving attitudes, it is already there inside Krishna. And uh, we can see that. So this actually is the, this is not an ordinary bhava of Mahabrabhu, what Mahabrabhu has expressed. This is not an ordinary bhava of Mahabrabhu. This, in this, that lampat bhava definitely is there inside, in, with that gopi bhava, Mahabrabhu is just taking the bhava of Radharani inside him and just expressing that in front of us. That apart from you, you are my only Pranath. This kind of attraction, what he is showing, that you are my only Pranath. That you are my Pranath. Maybe the life is going, that Pran is going. But that Krishna, name should not go. So what this which are actually shown in Chaitanya Bhagavat. Okay, life is going, no worries. But that Krishna should not to just leave Krishna, it is not, not at all possible. This kind of attraction, what it is, in this situation, that's why it is called Pranath. That is, whatever is your uh, happiness, I, it's my happiness. 
I don't want anything. It's your happiness. I am. It's my happiness. That's it. I just want to serve you. That's it. Ashul kada. This is very nice look here in. Ashul uh, kada. Gopi Gita. Hey Govind. Hey Govind. Hey Krishna. We are actually your Ashul kada shiva. Mahaprabhu actually speaking this one point only. Yesterday or maybe to yesterday we were just discussing about that point that we don't want anything. I just want to become your servant, your dasi, and you just give me your uh, Krishna prema, that topmost property. And this word actually lumpert, it is just by hearing it looks very bad to us. Lumpert is very bad, very bad word. Materially, externally, but for Krishna it is not at all bad. Even if apparently contradictory issues, like uh, apparently current contradictory issues, there it can get adjusted with Krishna. Apparently it is very contradictory. But Krishna is actually the enjoyer, and we just need to. Uh, enjoy Krishna by Ram Sankirtan. This is actually a contradictory point that who is the enjoyer, he cannot become a mendicant, and who is a mendicant, he cannot be enjoyer. But for Krishna, it is all possible. Inside Krishna, that Vairagya. That is infinity vairagya is there inside Krishna, because in this infinity Brahmand, where their kind of their kind of vairagya we are seeing that actually everything coming from Krishna, everything has come from Krishna. That in this infinity Brahmand, like Krishna, there is no one uh, vairagya present, not even in present nor in future it will be there. So just need to apart from Krishna Swarup, that Gorang Rup Krishna has just taken. Just by his own will, in front of us. Etc. has shown there that uh, in this it is very special point that that Bhagwan Shri Krishna he is, uh, but he has that kind of Radharani bhav. And the body complexion of Radharani is there. He is coming in a very hidden form in this Kalikal. Uh, so that this kind of word Lampad, what Mahaprabhu has told, this Lampad is the topmost respectful word in that of that Aparaprit Jagat. So much uh, mannerism is there, but externally we cannot see that. This Lampad word, Lampad word has so much sweetness. So much of Rakrit transcendent sweetness and sweetness is there that you can't even imagine. Actually, it is in Chaitanya Jitamrit. Those who are actual devotees, those who want to do uh, devotion for getting devotion, if some uh, they are just getting from the lotus mouth of some Mahajan, then definitely they know something about bhakti. That to just get the bhava of Radharani when Mahaprabhu is just doing vilap. In this, it is written there. I definitely show you that that how Mahaprabhu was doing vilap uh, in the in the bhava of Radharani. Krishna is actually lumpard. He is actually seeing some gopi and he will just embrace that gopi. He is actually lumpard now. Today he is with me and yes, tomorrow he will just be kissing some other gopi and just be embracing. Externally, it is so. Heinous and so dirty, but uh, this is not at all dirty. So much respect is there inside that. You can't even imagine that. That uh, the lampatte of Krishna. That is the actual word. Those and for those material people, that kind of lampatte is actually just to use to spit on that. But uh, Krishna actually is just taking new new gopi and just embracing her. And if we are getting that gopi bhav, then definitely Bhagwan will definitely embrace us. So this gopi bhav, in any 
arrange many kind of arrangement because krishna is actually very chanchal and where he has gone where he has just gone to embrace some other one that is the actual quality of krishna that this when everything everything is there it means that uh, krishna is the actual enjoyer absolute enjoyer and if we, you are saying that just for the sense gratification of krishna we are actually satisfying krishna for that krishna prabhu speaking not differently but if the vichar if we are seeing that krishna the lambatte of krishna that is when krishna will get satisfied when the krishna will getting satisfied slowly surely then our main duty is why krishna has done and how krishna has done this kind of question will not come because krishna is the absolute enjoyer in this infinity world and prakrit and avrakrit jagat that uh, in this material and transcendental jagat wherever you are going there is only one krishna he is there he is the actual enjoyer he is the only enjoyer of all this he is the absolute enjoyer absolute enjoyer matlab absolute enjoyer means that apart from that there is no other enjoyment it cannot be possible and this absolute enjoyment is at topmost thing that even when when our eyes will go to that then when our darshan will go up till that one then we will stay there at that point that is the so top most wonderful thing what krishna has shown this is just not like a joking thing in front of you this is not a philosophical thing which i'll be speaking in front of you this is by philosophy i'll be just uh, thinking and just be hearing and i'll be just giving you that point that is not the kind of uh, vishay it is a very in depth uh, vishay that's why krishna with the bhav of radharani and what kind of vilap what radharani speaking with full separate separation mood to lalita mood that lalita today actually i am getting youngness in my body but still krishna has gone from my because krishna is lampat whether he will come today or not he will be is very chanchal so i just want to serve him but he is actually very chanchal he is going here there everywhere so this lampat to bird in the ring krishna is giving is getting full respect in that because bahut sare there are lot of enjoyers there where there are actually lot of sense enjoyers definitely that competition will be there there actually you will be just be putting some case also and here who will actually put case because krishna is the only sense enjoyer he is the topmost enjoyer nobody is there only krishna is there in this own infinity brahmand that he just want can enjoy that whole brahmand he has that got that only uh, license to do enjoy enjoyment with other devas by doing hari nam all this all this fishing is slowly steadily slowly steadily will come in front of us and you can see just uh, that the previous shloka i have already told you i have actually just uh, recited that shlo- shloka so see that shloka the vichar of bilo mangal thakur is so good he is actually just crying and actually he is just getting the tasteness of the leela of krishna he is just tasting that bilo mangal thakur and he is just getting that practical realization at he nath and radhani also it is already there written in shrimad bhagavad gita mahapurana also that when krishna has just got uh, out from this uh, uh, from that ras thali but nobody can't stay there everyone just started crying like mad like it is just like uh, a fish is actually getting out of the water and it is just like uh, the fish will just die it is just the situation like that the gopika situation is just the same and at the last when they just uh, finding krishna no way no way they can find krishna and at the last at the river of yamuna they are just uh, crying loudly oh where you are like this all bajwasi log also used to speak this kirtan they are speaking very beautifully 
डिस्क्रिप्शन ओ कुंजाम वेर वी विल बी फाइंडिंग यू वेर वी शुड गो टू फाइंड यू वेरी नाइस कीर्तन है एक्चुअली इट इज This kind of actually Brajwas is doing kirtan, like it's in Gopi Gita also. It is written so in the same manner that you can understand that this is the actual translation of Gopi Gita, the Bhav translation of that Gopi Gita, same Bhav translation. In Sanskrit, that there is written Gopi Gita. You are actually, I am. We are actually finding you. That is actual point. And. In Bhagwat Ji Mahapuran also it is written that the vilap of Radha Rani, that Radha Rani is start is just crying like mad. Radha Rani, is Radha Rani is crying like mad, and her life actually is going away. So in this way Radha Rani is actually speaking. My life is going. Oh, you please save me like this. That under your sanidhya, that your under your sanidhya, uh, we need your sanidhya. We just uh, want the. Uh, we should get that. Uh, Lotus feet of yours. Brajwasis log always used to speak. Always used to do this kirtan. Parli par will will just take it. But what is the actual parli par? If you have the desire to go there or not? Arey Maharaj actually we have want to stay for some times and we are getting that kind of mind now. We definitely will go afterwards. But it means that they haven't understand that point. Just by speaking externally, that can I yeah you just take us that parli par to the other end. It means that they are actually just getting that greediness to go to that other place, to that transcendental world. So this is the thing. In Karnamrit also, that Bilbo Mangal Thakur has just given that excellent prayer in front of us. We haven't heard this. So, like Radha Rani is just doing vilap. Feet, and we will just take it, getting the darshan of your lotus feet. When I will get that luck, you just tell me when this situation will get in my life that I will be just doing the darshan of your lotus feet. When I will be getting that lotus feet of yours. When I will get that luck to have that darshan of your lotus feet. Heart is just like it is just like uh, chest is just uh, getting burst up. That is called actually. वास्तविक विप्रलम सेपरेशन भाव एक्चुअल बस बाय एक्चुअल नाम संकीर्तन ओनली दिस काइंड ऑफ सेपरेशन भाव कैन कम अदरवाइज नो अदर वे इज ओपन फॉर अस इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल सो दिस एक्चुअली व्हाट विचार इज शोन टू अस इन दिस विचार शिव It's all written there. It is actually one open term here. Openly, it is uh, spoken here that which kind of bhav of a particular bhajwas you are uh, liking. Then, by doing nam sankirtan, you will be just finding that greediness towards that uh, bhav, like the case of Gop Kumar. The go. That by doing Nam Sankirtan, Gopu Kumar slowly, steadily has just gone, went to Golok Dham, and he has just gone into Krishna Lila, and has just get manifested there himself in that Krishna Lila only. And now, lot of points are there which we can just discuss here. There is actually Bhakti Mohan Thakur that. Uh, 
Amrit Prabha Vashya has written. I have already uh, told that that according to your adhikar it is possible to get that. That what is that adhikar? That according to adhikar everything is possible. That by your own will nothing will happen in bhajan life. So Bhaktinur Thakur Ji has just written one kirtan. That oh, Bandugan you just share my point. So oh, oh, my friends just share my point what I am speaking. When we are will be just getting into that bhav and all the time we are thinking of that bhav that when that uh, those who actually want to just uh, uh, take off our heart definitely it will give us that darshan inside our heart so in the very uh, importantly he will just be doing so he is actually so clever that he will just be vanquished from that thing he is so lumpert that he is very clever so smart that he will just uh, vanquish from that place. So that Bhakti Mnod Thakur has just given in this Kirtan. That he is just getting vanquished from that place. Like Radharani also like this. Ma Gorang Mahaprabhu also taking this path. Now just got the darshan. Oh, I have just got the darshan now. But where he is gone? Oh my God. Just crying loudly. Rai Ramananda Swarup Damodar also like that. Actually just want to give... Uh, why you always used to speak Kirtan in front of Mahaprabhu and all singing uh, nice nice Kirtan by that they always used to always used to maintain Mahaprabhu all the time they used to satisfy Mahaprabhu by that that is the actual bhav that Abhi uh, now only they have got the darshan now he has just given darshan from where he has gone that one Shivadana has given me the darshan now how, how, how can I stay so this kind of bhav actually Bhakti Nath Hagur also have this kind of bhav just want to see that very nicely but again he is just getting vanquished like that the bhav of Radharani also Ma, Gaurang Mahaprabhu has just shown us practically so this those who is actually that Brahma also is actually very innocent he is actually that Mahaprabhu is doing vilap that Brahma ji, that Shri creator, also he don't know how to do creation. He, uh, we have to show him how to do creation. Because by the by those eyes we just want to see Krishna all the time. We are getting that chance to see Krishna all the time. He has just made only two eyes. Only two eyes. How we can see Krishna? You see his innocence. Don't know actually how to create things. How actually we can see Krishna with two eyes? In this also there is actually twinkling of the eyes. And how we can see Krishna like this? That is the actual vichar of Mahaprabhu, you see. Just by twinkling. There is actually disturbance by that twinkling of eyes. We can't have darshan of Krishna. How actually we can see the Krishna? How Krishna? We, if we have millions of eyes are also are there, that greediness and thirstiness of getting the Krishna darshan, that is not at all getting vanquished from our heart. Even by million eyes also I feel good. But Brahma has just given two eyes. It's so foolish. You see the case. So nice bhav actually. Radharani also the same. It is actually Bengali Kirtan. That Jayadev Vidyapati, all very nice, topmost Kirtan. Up till that point, we have to go. Up till that point, definitely we have to go. Up till uh, only then, only we'll get that sweetness. Why actually we are just taking this whole uh, material darshan in front of us? Where we will get this kind of bhav? We are actually just uh, busy in this material darshan, that's it. We are actually, our Surdas ji also has spoken. spoken. So this actually is speaking that we are actually busy in this material darshan. 
छोड़ी जब इधर जा बोले जहांगीर धर वो पाल यही है तो दिस इज एक्चुअल पॉइंट राधा रानी राधा रानी बहुत सारे हैं ऐसे भी लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर आल्सो देयर लाइक दिस तो ये जो भाव है सो दिस काइंड ऑफ भाव दिस इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट इट इज नेक्स्ट टू इंपॉसिबल टू गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ भाव so that's why radha rani has just one time just got mad alone she is actually speaking to lalita actually my condition is just at the verge of death i am just at the verge of death now my tongue actually is just getting crores of tongues are just asking to do krishna naam and my eyes my crore of eye crores millions of eyes are just want to see krishna my ears always want to hear that i need millions of years i need millions of years years who is actually speaking that muchukund is speaking that just to glorify you glorify you oh prabhu you just give me crores of years to hear your glorification and you give me this just to hear your naam sankirtan and everything you just give me in front of that but in front of us it is just like a joking thing but the actual thing is that that according to the situation that devotee is getting that the the situation what the devotee is getting to that situation thing also brother ani is like ma prabhu is actually speaking the same point that if we will actually be giving uh, he, he will be thinking that i am mad so i'll be just giving some suggestion to anyone that what the actual meaning then he will be thinking thinking of us that i am mad so that's why it is not possible to just make others uh, sure about that point this is just like one madness that what is krishna naam and what is krishna that this by naam sankirtan only it is possible to understand that and in those life he is getting the knowledge that no third person knows about that realization of a particular person no third person has that kind of uh, this is actually the question of direct feeling ma prabhu actually speaking that in order to just uh, give this understanding to other that he will be thinking that i am mad so it is not at all he will be thinking oh it is not possible so like this nobody will be actually hearing what i will be speaking truly but that is the actual absolute truth that krishna naam has so much prabhav so much effect i just want to discuss this point that still we we are actually having don't have that kind of faith in krishna naam just by doing so much kirtan we are doing so that is the actual last shloka of shikshashtakam what we were discussing radha rani is actually just speaking in front of her with full full voice this shloka actually is very nice shloka that uh, millions and millions of uh, things will be there what what to do that i need uh, millions millions of eyes and millions of ears we need just to hear your glorification and to take a darshan that krishna in these two words like so much sweetness is there infinity sweetness is there uh, infinity shakti is there krishna that my actually my uh, i just want millions of eyes that on who will just actually be fulfilling my desire radharani actually speaking that that i need millions of tongue million of ears just to hear a glorification this is not a joking this is the actual practical feeling so actually it's very difficult to find out this is a very nice example which is quoted in front of us that rupa swami pad has also told and the main strange point and surprising point about this that rai ramananda and swarup damodar 
both of them, they are actually Lalita Vishaka themselves. And they both have, they have become so much amazed when they have just uh, written this shloka or Srila Rupa Goswami Pada has just written it on the, uh, on the thatch of the upper uh, roof. Or in, the, in that bamboo structure, he has just written that actual shloka in a plum leaf, he has just written it and thatched it on the roof of the wall. And when actually it is there, after Mahabharata, when just uh, uh, Swarupa Goswami Pada just become mad, just by Swarupa Goswami actually speaking that, I, in my whole life, I have just got the clarification of Harinam. But what kind of glorification this Rupa Goswami Pad is doing? It is actually next to impossible to do this, this kind of realization. Because apart from Radharani, nobody can write like this. Because Radharani, only Radharani has this kind of bhav. What Rupa Goswami has given us. So you see, actually, we haven't heard this kind of glorification of Harinam. Oh, so nice. This is actually a big magic. Sarai Mahasaya and Swarup Damodar just become mad. So who is actually this Rupa Goswami Pad? That on the tongue of Radharani, that actual characteristic he has just taken. And in the shlokas also, it is written. When this kind of situation is there in his life, then only he can understand what is there. And no third person can, can realize this point. Only that person will realize who is that. They are into that realization. So Bhakti Nath Thakur has just speak, speaking that now this kind of vichar we want to just make that who is actually Lampat and uh, he, he actually just getting vanquished from that place without any seeing us and uh, without any seeing us actually my heart is actually getting broken there is actually endless pain in that in krishna bhajan in the ocean of endless pain of separation in which way i should go mahaprabhu always used to speak like this mahaprabhu always used to speak like this they always used to uphold their neck and where I have to go. Mahaprabhu used to speak. Where I will go and I can have the darshan of Krishna. You just let me know. I am very much unhappy. Where I will get Krishna? Jagat Bandhu. Krishna is Jagat Bandhu. Wherever we are going, you are just taking us and you are just kicking me off wherever you are. But that actually, he want to do that, but still he is my Pranath. He can just throw me anywhere, in any place, but I don't have any question regarding that. He is actually Jagat Bandhu. He can throw me anywhere and can go away. But okay, it's his will, he can do that. Sometimes he is getting that will, definitely he will give us darshan. That topmost darshan he can give to us, it's his choice. Just by giving sometimes darshan and sometimes just having that very nice sweet voice, he's just talking. And again, he's just getting out from that situation and my heart at that point is just getting that fire inside my heart that jealousy is there inside the heart oh where krishna gone so hey pranath he is actually just killing me when he is getting separated from me so what kind of uh, happiness he is getting he is getting to other place okay i am not at all actually thinking of my own happiness in which krishna is getting happiness what is actually satisfying for krishna that is actually happiness for me as well i don't need my personal happiness for that if he actually want to give me distress and he is getting happiness in that then okay it is good and after
after that Bhakti Mahal Thakur has just uh, told about his own realization also. And now Bhakti Mahal Thakur is just getting the darshan. Immediately, uh, that uh, he is getting the darshan of yoga pit inside his heart. And there are Ashtasakhi there. And Yugal Kishore Kishori is actually just taking seva. Where it is written? There we can see. Actually, this is your feet. All the circuits are all the time doing seva. In the whole world, those who are actually taking, stealing the heart, he is not at all a butter thief. He is actually just stealing our heart. He is not Namanit. He is actually also stealing the hearts of others as well. He is not Namanit. That according to the seva of the Sakis and according to the instructions of the Sakis, I am actually getting busy in the seva and that uh, Yugal Sarkar, I am a Palya Dasi and uh, uh, in their, uh, I am actually just, uh, my, my life is actually going in their prema. All the time it's just going on and uh, sometimes sometimes they are just taking my hand, Bhakti Muttakur speaking, in Siddha Swarup. It means that Bhakti Muttakur body is also transcendental but still he is speaking like that. That Kamal Manjari, she is speaking. That sometimes he has just taken my hand and he is speaking very nice, two, three, four sweet words. And he is just taking that pan tambul uh, from my hand and he is just eating that up. And uh, sometimes actually you give me, you have that uh, flower garland, okay, okay, give me, give me. And then he is taking that garland of flowers as well. And sometimes he is getting that, uh, he is getting vanquished from my darshan. And without getting his darshan, I can't stay for some time. And my heart is actually getting that firing feeling. And after that still Bhakti Muttakura actually is speaking about it whole which are And Bhakti Muttakura is speaking this that where and this Yugal, Yugal Sarkas wherever, wherever it is there I will definitely I am the uh, Dasi of servant of that lotus feet of Krishna I am actually the servant of that maybe I can I if Yugal Sarkar will take seva I will be becoming very happy and when they are getting that togetherness with the uh, Yugal Sarkar then topmost anand is they are getting all the sakis and manjaris and when that separation is there then their heart is just getting that jealousy feeling but still what to do the, in that case whether they are having that uh, togetherness or they are just showing viraha both of them are one. That in, in any condition I just need to stay. If that kind of happiness for Yuga Sarkar is just uh, obtained, then it is the topmost Anand for me. So nice Kirtan, you see. Very nice. Even in order to understand this, so much life we will have to wait for that. Bhakti Thakur has just told in the Siksha Ashtakam according to the, the description of the Siksha Ashtakam in Sanskrit he has written. And at the last, that uh, Mahat's Mahat information he has just told us. Kedaranathena Maya Pranita. Ah, Kitna 
nicely it is written. Bhakti Mata Thakur has just written in the last shloka that from the Gorang Mahaprabhu's lotus mouth that Shikshashtakam is just getting that instruction, transcendental instruction is just getting from his lotus mouth and those who are actually just uh, uh, hearing that uh, Shikshashtakam, they are actually get, getting the ashram of that Gaurcharan and they are this kind of matwal they are becoming they are actually just uh, getting that attraction towards the lotus feet of just by taking that uh, uh, transcendental rush from the lotus feet of Gorang Mahaprabhu slowly steadily they are just getting madness sweet madness this uh, lotus feet of Gaur Charan this kind of rasa they are just taking it and just becoming mad in that and they are just getting that sweet madness in that. They are actually doing. They are just getting uh, flooded in that Prem Sagar of Ocean of Prem Sagar of Murari. And now Prabhupada actually, the vichar of Prabhupada is there. Prabhupada also speaking this vichar. That before that Bhaktinu Thakur also speaking about from Bhagavatam, lot of slok he has just collected from there. And has just given us the actual uh, proof of that. And now we will be discussing about that a little bit. And uh, the what Prabhupada has just, uh, the vichar of Prabhupada is Nivriti, I will be just be discussing that. After that, I will be just uh, uh, finishing that. And after that, I will be glorifying some Naam. And tomorrow, I will be just... I have to stop that. I don't have any other uh, criteria because I am very fallen soul. Up to what point I will go? So, Bhakti Thakur has just spoken this point. And one example he has taken from Bhagavad Ji. Mahapuran. When in the Braj you are actually just all the time walking, hey Nath, hey Kant, when you are just going for the uh, cow and calves are going with you in the in the forest of jungle in the forest of Braj then this kind of uh, this uh, more melting than your butter your uh, lotus feet are just as soft like that and when it is just uh, getting onto the ground so then we are actually feeling very bad and painful inside our heart that your very soft uh, lotus feet are just going on this so hard surface hard and hard surface so you see this kind of too one much too much oneness is there Then Bhakti Thakur is also just talking in Kirtan. Denu means uh, cows. When you are just taking the uh, cows into the forest of Braj. So actually he is getting so much pain. So you see this kind of vichar, how Krishna is just getting with your naked feet, naked lotus feet is just taking in this braj on this so harsh and hard ground. And lot of actually proofs Bhakti Thakur is giving. Hey Priyo, that at the daytime, when they in, the, uh, in the sky, there is a lot of sunshine and lot of sunshine is there. And uh, those who are all the time just, when you are just going to the brudge, 
you don't have this kind of uh, distressfulness at that time you are actually not feeling that when we are not taking your darshan when you are going to the forest then no darshan of yours is there at that time and at that each and every fraction of second at that time we are just like uh, feeling that it is just like a yuga and this kind of uh, unhappiness and distress we are just getting that i don't have any words to express what kind of distress i am feeling and when the day time is always already going to get over at that when you are just uh, that your that your hairs are just uh, getting uh, that your hairs are just getting scattered the scattered hairs of yours when we are just getting the darshan of that then it is just like even a one one second that thirstiness is not going to just take your darshan this thirstiness is not at going not at all going we are actually want that we just need to do your darshan all the time all the time this thirstiness is not at all going that at the time of nivesh when this twinkling of one fraction of second it is we cannot uh, bear Nikilo Bhavana Lakshmi Nitto Lila Aspada Vyam Kamalo 
shelter of krishna just to get the lotus feet of them that this krishi krishna padam bujo just to get the lotus feet of krishna it is all the time should be there inside our heart that it should be in explicable that kind of top most uh, uh, happiness that happiness should be there inside my heart all the time that should be there all the time That in the last Shrin Chaitanya Chaitamrit, it is written there Mahaprabhu, that Bhav of Mahaprabhu, that in Bhajan Rahasya also it is uh, Bhakti Mnod Thakur has just given this, that those who are already in Ashtakali Leela and those who are getting that uh, thing to just read Bhajan also Keshav Goswami Maharaj also told that don't have, they don't have this kind of adhikar to just hear this. No, no, not at all. But sometimes actually, okay, they can just hear that, but under the guidance of pure Guru Vaishnava. We don't have this kind of adhikar to hear this kind of things. This uh, Kirtan is there. In Bhajan Rahasya Bhakti Mnod Thakur has just given this Kirtan, very nice, beautiful Kirtan. What? That, what I have just getting inside my heart. That apart from Krishna nobody is there. That only my is Krishna and Dharandan Krishna. Discussing two four words, it will be very good. 
Prabhupada speaking very very difficult Prabhupada speaking externally it is very internally it is very easy but externally it is very difficult to get get at your lotus feet I that Pranadi just give us that uh, embrace or whether he is just throwing us just to give us that uh, topmost distress if he is feeling that happiness then okay that is the because he is Pranath only no he is my only Pranath I don't have anyone apart from him so this kind of uh, I don't have anyone apart from him that Sri Krishna Swatantra Purush is an independent Purush whatever is his will that according to his will only whatever is his will whatever is the will of Krishna he can do but whatever is good for him he can do that because he is independent Purush and whatever is his will this is my actual duty that in which Krishna is getting satisfaction I have to do that I am actually not that kind of uh, not thinking about my own uh, uh, happiness I am actually the lo- dasi of the lotus feet of Krishna and apart from that I it's not that he has just left me and I will go to the other place I am not at all Swecha Charani at that point he is my Pranana so I can't leave her so apart from this I don't want to do any kind of Pratikul Bhavna that whatever is Pratikul I don't have that kind of Siva Vritti that I will be just showing the other Seva Vritti to others that is not at all possible for me Prabhupada actually speaking that the Jeevas that Prabhupada speaking that in the Siddhi of the Jeevas their uh, body and mind Prabhupada speaking that when the situation that Jeeva is just getting that when the Jeeva is just getting to that situation that in their body they are getting that Siddhi in their, their material mind and body that kind of no title is remained in that that what I have told you that by, at that point only when actually Jeeva is getting that Siddha Swarup by his body and mind he is just getting that title of from that of material mind and body at that time that kind of uh, Aprakrit Vrindavan of Nandanandan Krishna that uh, I am just getting that Siddha Deha that by that Aprakrit Deha I will be just according to the satisfaction of uh, by satisfaction of Krishna and that is my only seva to satisfy the sense organs of Krishna that is the actual uh, uh, desire of mine that is my ultimate goal that that is the ultimate goal of Prem Bhakti the, under the guidance of Mahaprabhu you can understand this point that Jeev when he is getting up to attaining that situation when that material body and mind there is no kind of title remaining left at that time Nanda Nandan Krishna whatever that Siksha Vyar Khetra that Aprakrit Vrindavan Dham we can get the entry under the, the I am actually Brajavasini under the guidance of all the Sakhi Manjiris I will be just be guiding by their guidance and I will be just getting into those getting that Siddha Dehe by the, my Aprakrit sense organs I will be just satisfying the sense organs of Krishna that is my only desire this is the actual uh, uh, seva of uh, Prajvasis that is the actually Rupanug seva with Prem seva Jeev cannot be Jeev cannot be uh, cannot be uh, cannot uh, think himself as Ashre Vigra Jeev cannot think himself as Ashre Vigra he don't think that I am an Ashre Vigra why because Ashre Vigra means Radharani Jeev cannot can remain under the anugatya of that Ashre Vigra if actually someone is thinking that I am Radharani this is not at all good because Krishna is predominating absolute 
and Radha Rani is predominated absolute. Both of them are absolute. Okay. So if someone actually thinking that then that will be called Prabhupada speaking this point that that is not at all good. All the time under the under that bhav of anugatya with full humble mood of anugatya, we just need to get into that seva. That is actually good. Bhakti Thakur under the guidance of Anugatya or Bhakti Thakur, we are actually doing this vichar. Because those who have just understand that Ashtakam and just get realized that Siksha Ashtakam in his life, then what to speak of him? Bhakti Thakur has already told him himself that that uh, that Murari Mukund who is actually just getting into the drowned in that ocean of Murari Mukund then what to speak of other things those who have already just getting that realization of sikshas to come under the guidance on anugatya of pure guru vishnu that the eight shlokas of sikshas to come sambandha vidya priyojan abhide priyojan tatva already been shown to us in the first shlok also that by that normal roop naam sankirtan and in the second shlok it is just uh, that inability of us to serve Krishna and that I am nothing is with humble mood is just getting manifested and in the third stroke what kind of bhav should be there while doing Nam Sankirtan and with what bhav we just need to do Nam Sankirtan that should that is actually expressed in the third stroke otherwise Nam will just get vanquished from our from front of us and in the fourth stroke Pratikul Vancha like he already told in the fifth shul that about the swarup that what is ever a swarup gyan just to get that realization in the sixth shlok that that whatsoever just need to stay in front of krishna and to do service in the seventh shlok that actual taste of vipralambaras and in the eighth shlok that is topmost prayojan siddhi that mahaprabhu has just instructed us in the eighth shlok, that topmost prayojan siddhi tattva, that is to get Krishna prem, that kind of updesh instruction Mahaprabhu has told us. Bhakti Thakur Prabhupada actually speaking, the first five shlokas, that abhide we just need to take in front of us so that we can just get that uh, sambandh gyan uh, fully stable and so this is actually all Abhide Tattva and we can get that Prayojan Siksha from that and at the end Prabhupada is just giving us this conclusion and he's speaking that you see this Srinath Chakravarti he has already told us this point at the end that you just need to have that conclusion that it is drawn Here, up till this point, this vichar is applicable. It is very important to do. And after that, there are other kind of very uh, topmost hidden vichar. In depth vichar, it is not possible that we can just discuss that. So, this Harinam, in this Harinam, there is a lot of in depth discussion of the vichar. What is that? That. Uh, it is already written that it is already written about that that Mahaprabhu has just told him himself that all kind of bhajananga this actually Mahaprabhu has told this point It is very strange 
in this actually it is already clearly written Prabhupada ji actually Gaurang Mahaprabhu has just instructed us you see that inside bhajan that Navadi, nine names of bhakti is topmost and it is the Krishna Prem in order to give us Krishna Prem it is getting so much power in this and that the topmost is Nam Sankirtan out of these nine names and without any apraj when you are doing Nam Sankirtan then Krishna Prem definitely you will get definitely you will get that Krishna Prem here actually it is written here yes that is Mahat Sangha what actually Mahaprabhu has just got that Avirbhav of that Mahat Sangha we have already told about this point previously yesterday that when Mahaprabhu just got Avirbhar on this material world in Chaitanya Chitamadhi it is written that when Bhagavan Shri Krishna just by doing so much Leela after that has done on this material and also has given Prema distributed Prema as well and Rupa Swami has written that apart from Krishna is there anyone who can just be giving Prem to Prema to trees and Gulmulatas is there anyone except Krishna? No one is there. So, like this, even if it is like when Krishna actually going to the Antardhan Leela, after that, it is already written there. Which is written in there in Jitana I am just uh, telling you, I am not at all changing that that according to my own will Bihari is actually taking Bihar in that it means that Krishna is just getting Antardhyan from that place Antardhyan after that Krishna is just getting into this uh, uh, is just getting into this point that when Krishna is just that Antardhan Leela, after that he is thinking inside his heart that uh, I am I am actually just getting this kind of Virbhav Leela and uh, I haven't given that kind of topmost Krishna Prema. I have just reserved it and I have not given it to everyone. I have just taken it that topmost uh, treasure of Krishna Prem inside my just getting that hidden inside my heart. Etc. All these shlokas are there. So this is actually very secret. So now actually is just getting, Krishna is getting Antaradhyan and he is just getting into this thinking that uh, I am all the time, I am actually not giving Prem Bhakti to anyone. And without Bhakti, the actual situation of this whole material world will become unstable. Stability can only be there by bhakti. If there is no bhakti, then stability is not at all possible. It will become unstable. In this whole material world, whatever he is doing, actually he is doing vidhi bhakti minimum. And Krishna Bhagavan is there. And Gwala, all cows, etc. all there. He is thinking that he is my Lord. So Bhagavan actually don't want to listen to all these foolish things. And uh, actually someone is actually going in Vidhi Mark, but actually they don't know about that what is the Dandana Krishna actually is speaking that how he can attain me. By Vidhi Bhakti only, Brajbhav, it is not at all possible to get without Vidhi Mark. Bhagavan is actually the master of infinity Brahman. Like this, that everything will go by that Ashwarya Gyan. Everything will get all this material world. By that Ashwarya Gyan, actually, all that material world is just getting Avirbhav. And what is my actual nature? Just by just uh, seeing my Ashwarya, I am not at all uh, uh, feeling well because Brajwasis are very uh, dear and near to me and I am very dear near to all those Brajwasis. And by the Ashwarya, what kind of breathing I am getting, I actually I am not at all finding well. That Sambram, one kind of Sambram is coming. So, I just want that he just want to play with 
play with me and he just want to um, play with different different kind of condition and sometimes krishna also getting onto the shoulder of krishna those brajavasis they always want to play with krishna all the time so this kind of bhavna is there all the time in their heart and that uh, that bondage of prema is not that much tight that relationship is not that tight and after that in that yoga dharma and after that they have just taken the decision that in this yoga dharma we just need to preach that naam sankirtan then when i am just coming on to this earth and i will be giving all these two things in one place both the things in one place it means that Shantras, you don't think of that. It is actually just a issue of realization. It is just not just an expression. Automatically, I will just become devotee. Because if I not become devotee, then they will not be taking that. No, people will not at all accept that. In Krishna Swarup, if I Krishna actually speaking himself. that he is speaking that uh, sarva dharma na parde lot of log he has spoken but those people haven't taken that practically they haven't just paid attention to the, oh everyone actually speaking no 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 he is actually speaking on his own externally so like this they are not at all paying attention to that point what mahap krishna told then mahaprabhu told that Actually, all the time I will be just going myself to just teach bhakti to everyone practically by automatically by not be distributing on my own that dharma nushtan will not be possible because on my own I can't even uh, give that uh, prem bhakti. So in order to that. in order to teach them i just need to come in the form of devotee myself that is this yoga dharma the pravartan this is actually this is also automatically can getting from my ansh also but also but the main thing is that uh, at the time of yoga dharma pravartan it is already there i'll be just uh, using that okay it's good all the time i'll be just giving both the both the things in the, at the same time and uh, that by my ansh only it will be possible to do in this but to just give that braj prem i just have to, i have to go all i have to go personally by narsingha dev narayan they can't give braj prem only i have to go and give that braj prem and and just to give that braj prem nobody can get has the capacity to give that so i just need to go there and have to give that braj prem it is already written in chetanya jitamrit so just by thinking so much so much deep vichar is thinking after that prathom sandha avatirna vaidya krishna avatirna dhyan i was so you understand this point so it means that in every call we don't have those who have just get the mahatsang by that mahatsang when we are getting that that no those who are very much lucky to get that mahatsang and they have a very good luck to get that mahatsang inside them only shud bhakti will get uh, inculcated and in this kali kal that shri naam sankirtan the topmost maha mahotsav who will do that only that should devotee that you devotee will do that that uh, mahamahotsav of naam sankirtan and as a result that in nirvichar in order to get prem bhakti mahaprabhu has just given that promise to us
सो दिस एक्चुअली सो बाय दिस नाम संकीर्तन महोत्सव तो हु विल डू दिस महा महोत्सव हु विल डू संकीर्तन ओनली ऑल डिवोटीज विल आल्सो डू डिवोटीज विल डू दैट नो बिकॉज़ डिवोटीज आर द एक्चुअल आधार ऑफ दैट सो दैट नाम संकीर्तन इज टॉप मोस्ट बट स्टिल ओनली डिवोटीज विल बी डूइंग दैट हु विल डू दैट ओनली डिवोटीज विल डू दैट सो डिवोटीज पोजीशन इज मोर अप देन भगवान that naam sankirtan mahamohotsam as a result what will happen that without any judgment that prem bhakti that avirbhav that flood of prem bhakti has just come and about that only prabodhan saraswati pad has just told us has told us now what he has told that that in this whole world actually that flood of prem is just coming in this whole world devotee that is the top most mahasang in order to just leave that when you are just leaving that mahat sang of that you see this is actually very important this mahat sang it is all the time very important because who will do sankirtan it is uh, this kind of question is coming that okay sankirtan is top most everyone knows mahaprabhu has told that स्वयं भगवान द वॉट एक्चुअली कमिंग फ्रॉम द लोटस माउथ ऑफ इज दैट नाम संकीर्तन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम दैट इन्फिनिटी भजन रहस्य हैज जस्ट कम ऑन टू दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड एंड वी कैन गेट दैट ऑल्सो सो दिस एक्चुअली टॉप मोस्ट कृष्ण भक्ति जन्म मूल दैट दिस मूल महोत्सव दैट द टॉप मोस्ट महोत्सव जस्ट विदाउट टेकिंग विदाउट getting that desire to get that uh, naam sankirtan all the time that kind of swaroop that which is actually not different from mahaprabhu that naam sankirtan will not at all get manifested inside our heart that actual picture will not at all get manifested inside our heart that just by doing that naam sankirtan by the effect of bhagwan all the bhajan kram bhagwan has already manifested in this naam sankirtan and uh, we can just get everything in this naam sankirtan at that point because it is already written there mukha vikirna hari krishna ki varna ka majjantu jagat parimni vijayanta tad ahoy what it's written rup goswami pad has written this then then at the time of avirbhav of chaitanya mahaprabhu at that time chaitanya mukha vikirna hari krishna ki varna when mahaprabhu has just uh, slide uh, just uh, singing this hare krishna hare krishna hari ram hari ram 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 hari 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 aisa actually just singing like that when mahaprabhu is just singing on his own at that time there is very strange uh, uh, atmosphere is uh, is created are maharaj just this to take uh, guru charan ashray and that padma pradasha guru and then you just need to take the uh, guru charan ashray are everything everything will be done maharaj when rup goswami pad is already written that hari krishna tivarna kaha majjantu jagat premani vijanta tat bhavaya so what does it mean actually that is shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is from the lotus mouth that top most uh, naam sankirtan because he is nami himself and has just come in the form of naam as well 
नाम एंड नामी आर नॉन डिफरेंट आर इज नॉन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इज अदर ही स्वयं भगवान नामी एंड ही इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग द नाम संकीर्तन इज ऑल्सो so he is actually just speaking his own name he is speaking his own name you see he is actually speaking all his own name so in this situation in this condition rupa swami pad is just speaking this whole material world just to just getting deep into that prem rasa so what actually is mahaprabhu when mahaprabhu just get avirbhav in this material world so the very strange thing is that at that time those who have just heard that hari naam that from that stavar jangam to haridas takur has already just opened this point that what a pound of uh, diksha this kind of kripa has given to each and every one mahaprabhu has just bestowed this upon each and every one and in this other kaliyug this is actually very rare to get that that this kind of hari katha after hearing that that kind of vichar is coming but here swayam bhagwan is coming and those who is doing naam sankirtan that who is he is himself that vishay vastu he is swayam naam himself and he is just speaking naam he is singing naam kirtan you say so whatever is there today actually time is very less so tomorrow we will be just discussing on this point again and i have this kind of desire so that we can discuss it by the kripa of bhagwan and prabhupad kripa i'll be just giving it uh, rest today and uh, tomorrow i have uh, other seva as well this uh, what kind of excellent vichar is there the shlok which i have already bilamma thakur ne ro ra hai the bilamma thakur actually is just crying e bhavanai kabandho e krishna e chapal e karunai e kusindo e nath e raman e nayana viramam ha ha kadanu kavita si padam when i will be getting the lotus feet i will be getting that prabodhana saraswati pad also one shlok is there and definitely i'll be discussing it later